logistically impossible. The first thing is that it will be difficult for them to cross the border with the girl already shouting. So uh, the way they operate intelligently is not that they will drive all the way knowing fully well that they might be, even if there is no police on the road, they will feel there will be police on the road. So they have more sophisticated way they operate. But I think also that we need to also begin to appreciate how the police and the security operative works. I think on one part is the effectiveness of the policeman. And I think that more and more is beginning to be done on us that most cases is not the effectiveness of the policeman, is the effectiveness of the tools with which the policeman works with. And I think that the more we begin to notice the kind of crime, because they will be on the increase, urban crime will be the next phase of crime in West Africa, if not Africa in general, because of the neglect of the rural areas. There will be continuous influx of people into the urban cities. So what does that mean? What it means is that beyond the effort of the police, beyond the effort of the state, individuals, companies, organizations need to begin to install mechanisms that will help the society. If that filling station, for example, had a CCTV yeah. camera. The police would have gone there for analysis. True. It doesn't exist. For example, the Reverend said he is sure there will be cameras around the border. Yeah. Is that the reality? That's, that's not a challenge. If it is there, does it work? So sometimes I think we put so much pressure on the police without looking at the tools with which the police work. And I think it's important that we begin to, to do that. It's no longer the state, the modern state development comes with itself a lot of challenges. In the past, if you Evans comes to my community, I should be able to say who are you. Yeah. But I can assure you that in the modern states, in the urban cities where we all reside, it's possible you do not even know your flatmates True. and what the person does. So the only way we can begin to go back to what we used to be in, as a community is that we also modernize the equipment we are using to live together. Yeah, that's why you travel to elsewhere and it's it's a city under surveillance because there's surveillance cameras everywhere let me bring in fraser fraser um what were you in the you were arrested for kidnapping yes please. when was this that was 1978 1978 that was before i, I was born <laughs> what, what what did you do well, you know I, I traveled to spain when i came back to africa i was looking for money with my friends i would just want to carry my friends out of the country so I went to Nigeria and I came back again. So when I met my friends, I said, look, the easiest way to get money is to kidnap. And they asked me, what is kidnapping? I said, no, we have to, somebody, somebody who the father have money, we have to find that person and uh, catch him and hide him. And we tell the father, I should come and he should bring some money before we release the, his son. Then they said, okay. So lo and behold, I went in and I kidnapped the boy. So, so you had other people who uh, who supported you on this? Oh yeah, they supported me. Okay, they, these are your colleagues in Ghana? In Ghana. Your friends in Ghana? My, friend, my friends in Ghana. Okay. So we kidnapped the boy. I went and kidnapped the boy. So I took him to my ex-wife's place. So I called my friends that I've got, I've got the boy. So went and searched for a number. So I called the daddy and I said, look, your son is with me. Uh, bring money before I release your son. He said, how much? I told him the money. He said, where? I said, don't inform the police. So he said, he will not inform the police. So he took the money to Labadi Cemetery, just behind La, La, La You asked him to go there and drop he, the money there? Drop the money. Okay. So the time that I gave him, the, I was watching him. So the moment he moved, I also moved. So he dropped the money. So I took the money and I crossed the lagoon to, that's mass. That's the Teshi camp, barras, the, the military barracks. I passed through there with the money. And I came back to Usu. You, but you, you gave up the, the boy? I gave up the boy. The same day I gave up the boy. Okay. After collecting the money, then I gave up the boy. How were you arrested then? You know, uh, the boy doesn't know me direct, but he knows my friend, one of my friends. Mm. So... The oh, boy, uh, okay. I seen one of your friends who participated in the kidnapping is known already to the boy. He is known to the boy. Okay. But he, didn't, he, 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 he knows about the kidnapping. Oh, I, okay. I informed him that this is what we are going to do. As, as we get the money, we all fly from the country mm. so he's aware that something will go on okay so when i when, when i kidnapped the boy too i told him that i've kidnapped the boy so the boy 
after releasing the boy, the daddy, the boy told the daddy, daddy, we need me no chi me. Hmm. So they, they went in for uh, the, the, the boy that had told him his brother, and they started beating him. As they were the beat, police, the police, as they were beating the brother, he said, no, they shouldn't be the brother, but rather it is me who kidnapped the boy. So the police came for you. They, they were looking for me, but they couldn't get me about two weeks before they got me in Tema. Well, how, how did they get you? I mean, what? Because what, uh, this is in the seventies, so I'm just wondering okay. the sort of intelligence work oh, that would have okay, led to you okay. being picked. I, up. I took a friend to one of uh, Henry, uh, Nyamite's house. Who is Nyamite? Uh, the former has. Okay. The okay. Former, uh, okay. Yeah, I took one of my my friend to the house because the son is my friend. Okay. So I took him there. He stay in Hamburg. So I told him that I need I need some papers for my friends to get out from the country, and I told him that this is what we did. Then he took me to Azu Crab, VCRX Crab, the son's house. Mm -hmm. So I was hiding there. He also took me from there to Tema. So I was in Tema. So as he said, anybody who will show where I am, they'll give him money. So this is my friend whom I took to uh, 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 Nyamite's house, took the police to the house there and said, I brought him to this house. So the police didn't went in, but they, they led my friend and a police in a plain clothes went to my friend and told my friend that we have a business, a diamond business. So the people have come to buy the diamond. So my friend quickly said, oh, I'm in his friend's house. So the police arrested him and started beating him. He should go and show where I am. So they, he took the police to Azul Crab's house and he started beating Azul Crab. So Azul Crab to, took the police to Tema, where I was hiding. And they came in. They found you yeah, in your hideout, in my hideout. And, and, it, and it picked you up. Yeah.